These are the problems cyclists face every day. Bicycling is a lot of fun, and it offers a lot of joy and happiness to many bikers. But being a cyclist isn't always a sunny day. There are days when many bikers experience issues related to the sport they enjoy. This is a bike thief. He just stole this bike and was about to ride away. These are the problems cyclists face every day. Having your bike stolen. If you're riding in a group or on a day bike trip, you won't be able to leave your bike alone for long. However, it's worth spending some time thinking about bike security in all other situations. According to Bike Register, the National Bicycle Database, one bike is stolen every 90 seconds, with the majority of these thefts taking place near the victim's home. So think twice before leaving your bike unattended and unlocked at home. Even if your bike is locked and secured in the shed, be sure it is locked and secured. To dissuade thieves, use a D-lock and possibly a second lock. Do I have to join a cycling club? Cycling is a sport that can be done alone, but many individuals prefer the social aspect of cycling in a group. The issue is finding a good match. Every cycling club has its own personality, whether it's competitive and aggressive, supporting, pleasant, and welcoming, or a little closed off. Riding in a group can help you stay motivated for longer periods of time, and you'll benefit from the knowledge of more experienced cyclists. A club can be the ideal setting for discussing all things like rubber, and gear related. Decide if you want a nice, relaxing experience or something that will push you, and then browse around before signing up. Do I need lights on my bike? Too many cyclists ride without proper lighting, which makes it difficult for other road users to see them, putting everyone at danger of an accident. Always ride with bright lights on both the front and back of your bike. It's worth having those lights on all day or all night. In the winter, daylight fades quickly, especially on a gloomy day. To ensure that you can see and be seen, choose LEDs with a bright beam. What about snacks? I get hungry on the road. You've planned a wonderful route with a few stops along the way. But the main goal of this trip is to cover some ground and increase your stamina. You might want to push yourself to your limits, but you won't be able to do so without some high-quality fuel. Carbohydrates are your buddy because they are your body's primary source of energy, but you need food that is portable and won't spoil. Bananas are a wonderful staple since they are high in carbohydrates and potassium, both of which are beneficial to your muscles. Dried fruit and nuts are easy to pack in a pouch, but if you're sweating a lot in the summer, salted ones might be worth packing. Instead of buying pricey sports drinks, Drink water or prepare your own water with juice or fruit infusions. We're circling back to winter cycling. What else do I need? You'll need bib tights, a long sleeve cycling jersey, a cycling jacket or vest, excellent warm gloves, socks, your helmet, and cycling shoe covers for chilly winter cycling. Keep your toes toasty. Nothing is more irritating than chilly toes or wet feet. Okay, what about my wheels, my rims? Why do I need to worry about them? Your bike's wheels do the most of the work, but they're probably the one thing cyclists overlook on a daily basis. The average cyclist may have no idea what that rattling or buzzing is all about. It could be a loose spoke nipple, which means your wheel's structural integrity is at risk. Your wheel may collapse slightly without you realizing when you hit that rock or bump up the curb too hard. You're now riding a wheel that's out of shape. If this sounds like you, it's time to make sure your bike's wheels are up to the task. Now for the thing that connects me to the road, the tires. A tire upgrade can make all the difference when it comes to making good progress and maintaining peak performance in all seasons. Rubber of good quality minimizes resistance and improves grip for a safer, more manageable ride. You could even be able to cut down on your punctures. It's important to know that a tire with low rolling resistance and low weight is more likely to puncture, so keep that in mind before you buy. Consider the weather and switching to wider, more grippy tires in the winter. Alternatively, in the summer, try for slimmer, lighter tires. What do I need to worry about when buying a bike helmet? There are so many choices out there. Cycling helmets are primarily designed to protect your head from injuries, but with different shapes, styles and brands it becomes more than just head protection. Pick a helmet from a reputable make and then decide whether you want breathability for summer cycling or rain protection and warmth for winter months. If you want to buy one helmet for all seasons, go for one with ventilation and add a cycle cap underneath to keep the winter chill off. So we talked about protecting my head. What about my back? Sometimes I get back pain. Lower back pain is a typical issue among cyclists. This could be due to a variety of factors, but there are a few common ones. First, double check your bike's setup. 
to avoid stressing your lower back. Raise your handlebars higher than your saddle instead of copying elite cyclists' position. Examine your handlebar position, as well as the height and angle of your saddle. Also, make sure your bike frame is appropriate for your height and build. What issues are waiting for me if I don't have the right size bike? Choosing the appropriate bicycle size. A bike that isn't the right size can bring a slew of issues. You'll be hesitant to pedal as much as you'd want or do longer journeys if you get the wrong bike. It may also cause neck discomfort, back pain, and knee problems. Furthermore, if you lack confidence on your bike due to its size, you may feel unsafe on the road, putting you at danger of an accident. You'll need to know your measurements, such as your height and inside leg, to choose the proper bike. This means you can choose a bike that fits you perfectly by measuring the saddle height and pedal position, as well as the wheel size. Brakes on bikes are important. What I need to do to make sure they are in tip-top shape slow brakes could result in an accident or serious injuries your brakes could be the difference between a safe trip out and a nasty accident so pick the right ones and maintain them these are just a few of the problems or issues that bikers experience on a daily basis when they hop on their bikes are there any concerns that we haven't addressed if this is the case please post a comment and tell us about it we encourage everyone who is able to get on their bikes and ride for happiness to do so thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from us. Have a fantastic day on the bike.